Hello everyone, my name is Veer and in this video we are going to see how we can run selenium test on your azure devops instance okay so for that what we are going to do is we are do, uh, going to create a build pipeline in azure devops and we'll try to run the test okay so uh, i'll quickly flip to my project okay so in azure devops you have an option for pipelines okay here uh, from pipelines you can create two types of pipelines one is for build pipeline and another is for release so first we will see how we can run our selenium test in build pipeline so for that what you have to do is you have to click on new pipeline okay so it will ask you where your source code resides basically okay and from there so basically there are two options for creating uh, pipelines one is the yaml and uh, another is using the editor itself so i will use the classic editor and from there we can create the pipeline so first and foremost thing you have to do whenever create whenever you are creating a build pipeline is to select a team project okay so you have to select a team project in which your repository is residing and then you have to select under uh, repository which branch you wanted to use for creating uh, creating your build pipeline okay so if you can see i have selected the jail demo project as my team project i have selected a jail demo project as my repository and i have selected master as my branch okay then what i'll do i'll click on continue okay so here it gives you basic templates that are available for creating a build pipeline so that means uh, you can use variety of uh, you know build options available that means if you wanted to run a dotnet uh, project or build a dotnet project uh, you can select uh, that particular option if you wanted to run or build android project you can select that particular option so uh, if you remember uh, when we had created a project and we pushed into our master repository we had uh, added the framework support for maven so our project is a maven based project okay so in order to run our test codes what you have to what we have to do is we have to select a maven and click on apply okay so uh, as soon as you add a uh, maven uh, as our age uh, uh, as a task type uh, it by default add some some of the tasks that will be executed on your agent okay so the first and foremost thing that it adds is a maven's pom.xml so whenever we are uh, running our test from test from command line what command basically we give is maven uh, clean test just to give an example that means it will you know compile your source code and uh, runs your test so same thing you have to do over here under the goals okay i'll specify goal as a clean and test okay uh, this is the first step that you have to do next step is uh, what you have to do is you have to copy all the artifacts okay so once you know <clears throat> once your source code is built uh, once the tests are run we wanted to copy the output of that particular uh, uh, project into a drop folder i'll explain you what what do what mean by drop or a drop folder in the subsequent videos okay so just for your reference uh, understand that what what steps we are going to do over here is we are executing our maven goal that is clean test again once the maven goal is executed we are copying the content uh, of the build content into a drop folder so these are the steps that will be done okay so how these steps will be done we'll uh, we'll uh, look into that okay so so what uh, azure uh, devops will do is you have to specify an agent okay agent is nothing but uh, azure uh, azure devops has you know set of agents available you, that means those are you know uh, kind of virtual machines available for you to run your test okay so uh, what you have to do you have to select hosted agents and from the hosted agents you have to select one of the agents say you wanted to run your test on windows 2019 machine okay just to give an example okay so 
so basically what azure hosted agent will uh, do in that case or that this particular job will do in that case is that it will you know check for the uh, agent available before running your test or before building your source code okay so if it, if it founds that particular agent available it will you know what what it will do it's uh, it will pull your source code on that on that particular machine it copies over there then it will start executing your maven goal that means it will start downloading all your dependencies once the all the dependencies are available it will start executing your test and once the tests are executed it will you know copy your uh, output that means a build directory into a one of the location on that particular build agent itself okay and lastly it will keep those uh, artifacts onto a drop folder okay so these are the you know these are the different activities will that will happen during the build pipeline of your uh, build pipeline execution okay and uh, one more thing uh, once the every everything every activity is completed it will publish the test result as well okay we'll see how that test result uh, also look okay so we have done with our settings now we'll just try to you know do few more changes like i wanted to rename the this uh, build pipeline as a selenium chrome just to give an example because i am running the test cases on chrome okay then what i'll do i'll change the a display agent name as well okay so i'll say windows 2019 so that means we are more clear clearer where the our jobs are running okay and i'll try uh, i'll save this if you wanted to save it in another folder you can save it there as well okay now you can see that our uh, agent has been uh, our build uh, has been saved build definition you can say has been saved now uh, we wanted to run this so you can directly queue your build from here as well or you can just go to the pipelines okay mm. okay and if you can see that selenium chrome that we had currently created okay and you can run from here or you can run from here i'll just click on run pipeline okay so then it will open up uh, this particular side window where you can specify the agent here as well that means uh, while running the your branch uh, where uh, while running your code you can specify the uh, agent as well so for now i will select the windows 2019 and i'll click on run okay so if you can see uh, your jobs has been started on that particular agent and you can see the execution logs as well okay so so the first thing as i mentioned you it is start pulling the source code from our repository okay then it will start executing the uh, start start getting the dependencies as we are specified uh, in the pom.xml Okay, so if you can see, <clears throat> it started downloading all the dependencies. So it may take some time based on your internet speed. so this execution is happening on one of the uh, agents okay this is not happening locally so if you can see that chrome driver has started successfully in the, on that particular machine so once all the test has been executed you will see all the steps will be completed over here and then we will see how how the test result will look like
okay so if you can see that all the test has been executed uh, now it has started publishing the artifact to drop folder okay so our all the activities has been done now let's go to that particular build okay so if you can see this uh, this will give you a summary of that particular build okay and if you can see one artifact has been published okay and here you can see another tab that has been displayed saying tests okay so if i go to the test you can see a nice looking graphs over here uh, saying that there are five tests out of which four got passed one got failed we had purposefully failed that particular test like uh, by inserting a cert okay and if you can see over here you can uh, find out that what which test case has been failed and in which build okay so you can see that as well okay. uh, if you can see the debug log here you can uh, see the details for that as well okay now uh, another thing that you can do is for the failed test cases you can create a bug itself from here okay so th this is one of the good feature that you can utilize uh, for your uh, test runs if if uh, uh, if the test is consistently failing you can directly create a bug for failed test cases from here itself so that's it for this video guys thank you thanks for watching this video so in the next video what we are going to do is we are going to run our test as part of our release pipeline Okay, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching.